So over here you can see that I have a character animator project and now let's work around with its workspace settings. So in order to uh, work around with the character animator workspace settings, I'm just going to go around into windows and over here you can see that there's workspace as an option. So once you go there, you, you can go around into home and what happens is that it navigates to home. You can go around into record and it goes around to record. You go around uh, to stream, then you go around to the stream section as you can see right here. So you can just go around and navigate around from the workspace as well. The other thing that you can do is you can enable and disable various spot. Let's say for example, I want to enable history, I can just go over here and choose like controls right here. I can enable the puppet right here. I can see the timeline and so forth. So I can just access these things out right here. So you can see that this is how it seems. So other things that you can do is you can go around and manually adjust the workspace as well. So let's say for example, I want this bigger. I, I can simply click and drag this out and that is how it works. I can also drag the tab right here and put it elsewhere right here. And you can see that I can work around with the tabs right here as well. I can go around and put this around over here, click and drag the title right here, and I can make it a tab in the other spot as well. So you can see that right about now, the entire layout has been changed a lot, and sometimes that might get confusing. And to get back to the default layout, you simply go to Windows right here, and then you go back to Workspace, and then you reset that out. So you can reset, record, and it says, are you sure you want to reset record to its original layout? You can say yes, and then you get back to the original layout, just like this. You can also go around and save a workspace. Let's say I'm, I want this kind of a workspace, and I'm, I'm just going to resize this out right here. So let's say I want this workspace to be saved out. I can go to Windows, I can go to Workspace, and I can save uh, uh, save the changes to this workspace or save it as a new workspace. So I'm just going to say tuta tube right here. So this is a new workspace. So you can see that there's a new workspace with this particular layout. So you can see right here that this is a layout, this is a layout, and this is it. So I can just go around and reset this around right here. And this is how it seems. So you got rig, you got record, you got stream, and then you got an extra tuta tube workspace with the elements that you want. And that is how you can work around with the workspace settings inside of Adobe Character Animator. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.